so till now we have discussed how to create this set of states from the lr items by using the notion of closure of i okay we start with the initial item of the starting production and we created closure of i and we iteratively perform we take a uh, uh, item from the given state and move the demarcator and based on that we computed a new item and a new state in this way we created a state transition diagram as shown in this figure now from here the main aim ultimate aim is to create the action and go to table or combiningly called as lr parse table okay for that let me first uh, write some rules okay so so the first notation is sn okay what does this sn means sn means shift and go to state n okay second is rk rk means what reduce by k we we have already seen in the action and go to table this notations okay by rule number k okay third is a means accept okay and fourth is gn okay gn means what means go to state n okay so so gn is will be used for go to table okay and since we are combiningly creating the lr parse table we are using this notation okay so so the rules are if the state i contains a production production of the form so if the state i contains a production of the form suppose let me write it down is like x as s dot dollar okay that means what dollar means as we have already seen so the in compiler uh, terminology in, in terms of grammar symbols dollar implies end of input string okay so this this item denotes that i have already scanned or parsed the given input string and i have reached the end of input string and hence so if a given state contains this thing okay then the table the lr parse table for the state i with dollar will be a that means it will reach the acceptance okay it will accept the action will be to accept and stop parsing okay second is if the state i contains rule number k okay item so an item of rule number k uh, like this way x is s dollar dot that means end of this thing okay then you should go by reduce by rk okay so so the x the corresponding action should be rk so reduce by rule number k okay so the corresponding action so i can say table of so lr parse table of i okay with this uh, k okay you can say will be rk okay uh, let me tell, give you an example third will be for any terminal t 
the transition from i to j for any terminal t okay suppose this is a terminal t i denote it transition from state i to state j will be what it will be sipped by j okay so sj is nothing but sipped j and for any non terminal tree the transition from state i to state j will be go to j okay so for any non terminal the transition will be the action will be go to j okay so let us see it through the uh, through the example which we have created okay so just a second so so we create this lr parse table in a fashion where the rows are my mm, states okay and the columns are the grammar symbols so here in this case my grammar symbols so it will be it can be x it can be comma it can be dollar which uh, denotes the end of input string it can be non terminal s and it can be l okay suppose i am in state 1 okay so let us see so i am in state 1 just a second is the thing yeah so i am in state 1 and on consuming the terminal symbol x i go to 2 okay here and on consuming the terminal symbol l paren i go to 3 so what will be my uh, accent table lr table will contain so on con on consuming x i should put s2 and on consuming l paren i should go right s3 but what happens if i just a second what happens if i consume the non terminal s in that case i have to fill go to state 4 understood so it will be go to state 4 on consuming s so it will be g4 okay go to state 4 so this portion it will be uh, okay now the other things are uh, means this blanks will give me syntax errors okay now suppose i am in state 2 so in state 2 what will happen so i have already told you the rule that is in state 2 Uh, state two denotes what? So state two contains the items. Let me check. So state two contains the item s is equal to x dot. Okay, and hence the grammar rule says that if anything x is equal to s dot is present, then go by reduce k. Okay, so I have. i have x is equal to x dot okay 
and this is the production number is what and this is my uh, s is equal to x dot is rule number 3 here okay here it is rule number 3 suppose I denote it as 0 1 2 okay so let me so 0th rule first rule and the second rule suppose this is rule number 2 then I should say that go by reduce by 2 okay any symbol comes you reduce by 2 understood okay what about so in this way we fill the action and the go to table okay I will give you an so so you try yourself to fill this table and I will discuss it in the next class